Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to Rikki's Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to make these tasty vegetable crepes. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please please kindly do so you don't get to miss any of my videos each and every week. Then stay tuned and enjoy my recipe. On today's ingredients, you will need 2 cups of wheat flour, 1 medium sliced onion, you'll also need oil for baking the crepes, you'll need 3 medium eggs, different types of bell papers, milk about 800 to 900 milliliter, and salt a half a teaspoon. In this bowl which has flour, I will add one sliced onion, then I will add different types of bell paper as you can see in the video, a half a teaspoon of salt, and three eggs one at a time and mix everything well. Lastly, I'm going to pour milk a bit by a bit while mixing till everything is well mixed into a thin smooth paste. I will add 800 to 900 milliliter of milk till the mixture becomes smooth. Then lastly, I'm going to use a hand mixer to mix so that the mixture can combine well. And I will cover to put aside for 10 to 15 minutes before baking the crepes. After 10 to 15 minutes, the smoothness of the mixture has to be like this and you're ready to cook your crepes. Then you're going to place a pan on a medium heat, let the pan heat up and brush up the pan with some oil as you can see in the video, then add 2 scoops of the mixture and tilt the pan so that the mixture can spread evenly in the pan. You let the crab to cook in a medium heat till the bottom is golden brown color and the top part has dry like this. Then add a bit of oil and flip the crab to cook for 1 to 2 minutes till golden brown. And after 1 to 2 minutes your crab must be ready. And make sure that your crab has a golden brown color like this and your crab is ready and continue with the rests. And my vegetable scraps are ready as you can see in the video. Look how tasty and delicious my crepes look. You can eat along with stew or anything you prefer and enjoy your vegetable scraps. Thank you for watching my video and hope you loved it. And if you want to see other recipes on how to make different types of crepes, I'll put the links in the description box. And if you have any questions, you can comment down below or you can follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram for further questions. And thank you once again. Bye-bye.